What's good, Josh? It's boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out Austin Theory's character change has been. You can fill in the blank. Some may think it's been good. Some may think it's been bad. Some may think it's been mid. So we're gonna check that out uh, by Wrestling Premiere. Should be a good video. Link to the original video will be down below. Let's see what his thoughts on Austin Theory's character change so far as he has been uh, the United States champion as of late. Get right into this one. Ever since I heard the mere mention of the name Austin Theory, the one word attached to it was potential. I had heard about him from his evolved days, but that would slowly build up, and WWE saw enough in him to make him a signing. Austin Theory's upside was pretty huge. What helped his case was that he had a good grasp on everything and being well-rounded at 22 will always give said talent a lot of attention. Me mm -hmm. personally, I didn't see much in him initially. In ring, of course, I thought it was good, but he just didn't have much of a character when he debuted on Raw. That's when I first saw him. He had to grow a character on NXT which worked in his favor, and when he was paired with Johnny Gargano, Theory got to show more of his comedic side and rapidly developing led mm -hmm. to his debut on the main roster. He had been on the main roster already, but it was an awkward run. This time around, he had the backing from the boss himself, Mr. McMahon. Theory's character was an entitled youngster who constantly pulled out his phone to flex on others. The mm -hmm. Mr. McMahon inclusion was supposed to help him a lot, but at times it felt like he was overpushed, and that's not a good thing, especially for a young talent. It felt like the guy was flying too high, and that would become apparent when he became Mr. Money in the Bank. Once he became Money in the Bank winner, it 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 was downhill from there in the fans' eyes, especially how he became Money in the Bank winner. It wasn't like he was in the match; he was like this special. I believe he was like this special last minute entrance or whatnot out of nowhere, and he won it. And it wasn't like he had a hard fought match to get into it he was gifted it pretty much and once we saw that as fans it's like oh here we go Vince trying to force someone that we you know we're not like it's not that he was bad in the ring or anything like that but you can see that they were pushing him well Vince was definitely pushing him to the moon and it didn't come off organic or whatnot so automatically people are starting to you know not really care you know one thing that's positive though about him here is that there was proper direction yeah sometimes he was over pushed but it felt like there was an end goal with him and that was to make austin theory a star the moment triple h took control though everything changed the yep. preferential treatment mcmahon gave him seemed to fade and anytime austin theory was around he looked goofy johnny gargano few roman reigns making fun of him that yep. strong direction he had in the past was gone and it was never more apparent than the night he failed to cash in money Ooh. in the bank what makes this worse however is the fact that theory cashed in on a mid-card title so not only did he look stupid in this moment but he was a total loser they couldn't even have him attempt to cash in on roman which was of course explained later on and thus the current austin theory was born now i'm not gonna lie i had hype. yeah they 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 tried to explain it off like it, it was he was gonna have help but they probably should have did it that way anyway and then you could have had the character change because i believe he cashed in on a mid card title in a open it was a u.s open challenge match he could have just accepted the challenge type shit so he yeah it, it it did i get why it was done it was a convoluted way they still could have had him try to cash in on roman but it was a way to kind of give him like a a reset so i hopes for this version of him as kevin owens earlier on was trying to teach him a lesson and it seemed to have gotten in his head he dropped the selfie gimmick and had a chip on his shoulder it was a stark contrast to his old character and yeah. no doubt about it austin theory had direction yeah. and was slowly evolving before our very eyes he became the u.s champion over the likes of seth rounds and bobby lashley which is pretty big it showed that despite his booking the previous month it was all about giving his new character a base and go from there because yeah. austin theory was completely different and was a little too serious there was no problem with his matches neither his character but that would change. Heading yeah. into the winter and WrestleMania season, Austin Theory was casual. There was absolutely no problem with his character, at least in my opinion, but it was becoming apparent that he didn't have much to offer. What Austin expected to do always comes to pass. His promos were the same old stuff, and it's clear that he could talk, but something's off. The style mm. of the promos don't come off well with him, and the worst was yet to come because Ooh. his next opponent for the title was John Cena. As you guys may know, this had been a dream match for theories, but the poor guy wasn't well equipped for such a challenge. Yeah. Feuding with Cena at this point in his career requires a lot more because this man was the undisputed number one in wwe for 10 years and they yeah. were basically screwing over austin theory like as good as this feud could have been for him on paper it just wasn't gonna go well with the way they booked it cena cut deep into him like a hot knife through butter he yeah. put his character into perspective he's like oh once you take the jacket and sunglasses away you're generic bro he once again is one of the greatest 
cooking <laughs> cooking segments <laughs> in WWE history. You you have those moments where a wrestler cooks another wrestler so bad that you never forget it. This is it. This is what people will remember about Austin Theory versus John Cena segment and and program. It's not the mask, because the match, it was okay at best. It's him getting cooked live in front of millions of people. Like destroyed. Like l- legitimately destroyed. And I was hoping this would do something for theory in a sense to make the fans care, but didn't really work. I think he ended up having like a promo where no one was there. I was like, it's not working, bro. What hurts him is the fact that Cena has all this freedom to embarrass and demoralize him, and he just has to stand there and hear that he's 2002 John Cena. Cena even told him regardless of the result, win or lose, Austin Theory won't win. Exposed the piped in booze and the context behind this promo is even worse because John Cena spoke about it in an interview two months ago and I quote in a room with Austin Theory I said the reason I came back to Boston is because you can't do this yourself yet you cannot carry a Wrestlemania promo yourself yet if you fail we waste the equity that I'm willing to give in that match if I get hurt I hold a production which puts 300 people out of work let's do this right let's get some equity here then you start thinking about the angles what's the most important thing what's our story I don't believe what you do that's what I'm going with Dan that puts things into perspective and makes the scathing and trash talking from Cena even worse and he let him know (laughs) he let him know like this is what I'm going to say this is how I'm going to say it there it is. <laughs> this man wasn't really that focused on having that damn match. He was focused on going back to Hollywood because the 300 people are waiting for him there. And a big mistake they did with this feud was the lack of promos. Theory tried to fire back, but Cena was nowhere to be found. But it didn't help him at all, which is strange because this entire program was designed to make something out of Austin. Theory. Yeah. Like the man is handcuffed and is expected to fight. If WWE knew that John Cena wasn't going to be around, then what was the point of this feud? The match at WrestleMania was extremely disappointing. I had a huge problem with this match due to the stakes, the situation, and of course the talent. Because you expected John Cena to go to work and try to get something from this feud. The entire purpose was to increase Austin Theory's stock. He was the now, the talent to look out for, but this felt like a John Cena match from a random Raw in 2011 and not a good one. The match didn't feel satisfying and did absolutely nothing for Austin Theory. Like We can blame him here and there. Oh, it's your fault you're in this position and whatnot. But at the end of the day, I cannot personally say I blame Austin theory during this John Cena feud at all it just came up too early I guess but yeah the victory did nothing for him he was the same guy as he was beforehand why because it wasn't an earned victory Mm. he cheated to win in 10 minutes and it's ironic the biggest win of his career turned out to be the moment where everything changed for him he lost momentum and hype and to this very day he still hasn't gotten it back Uh ever since his move to Smackdown two months ago this man hasn't stood out at all and there's no sign of any change that's the problem the fact that Austin Theory's character is going nowhere with this generic heel that needs fleshing out they had a great start with him in November he took Mm -hmm. the jokes away spoke less often and was serious about winning championship gold now he's just there and doesn't have that charm to him yeah i when they first changed his character he was serious no jokes no games i'm gonna beat the crap out of you and we enjoyed it i was enjoying it if they could have expounded on that and if we got that cena feud and and maybe let him really like kind of let the let the cuffs go let him find himself because this was a make or break moment for him in his career and it didn't make him it it just more or less kept him on the same trajectory unfortunately as if he's in a role he doesn't belong in i can't name a memorable promo from theory after wrestlemania they just don't care enough to put an effort into his character and it's like they're moving him forward but he's trying to find that thing about himself and his character because at the end of the day there's only so much you can do with a character that the wrestler himself isn't into and with the way it's going he needs a lot of time to reassess and potentially give his own input into what can be done because yeah. we have seen flashes in the past of austin theory he was pretty entertaining in nxt as a goofy guy yes he was good as a serious man who had a point to prove earlier in the year but the light is too bright on him at this moment he was brought up and pushed hard too soon they had to take it slow with him to allow him to understand where he is on the card WrestleMania with John Cena is a spot a select few head and Austin Theory is far out of his element in that position. Even if Cena came in and did the work, it's tough to say what the outcome would have been. What I mean is, regardless of how Cena came in and put him over, he probably would still be in the same position he is in right now. Because this is an internal problem with the character. It's not a Mm -hmm. natural change 
for Theory. And what makes it worse is that he's the fifth longest reigning U.S. champion in the wow. WWE's history. I'm assuming WWE's intention was to give him a Randy Orton-esque title reign where he'd come out of it ready for a potential world title reign, but that isn't even close to materializing yeah. with the way things are I didn't are even going. realize yeah, that. My personal <laughs> opinion is that Austin Theory should lose the title, maybe to LA Knight and regroup. He can mix yes. it up with comedy, become serious, but he needs to show more of his personality. We saw it in the past. He's more than capable of showing actual character, not some generic <clears throat> heel who does generic things. Facts. Yeah. It's just strange how WWE has booked him recently. Who knows how things will go in the future, but yeah, Austin Theory, he's got the tools I personally feel. John Cena told him that. It's just up to him and, of course, creative to give him a character that suits him well Facts. because this whole series thing it feels like he's uh, trying a bit too hard with it so yeah hey very All good right, video originally man. today's video is supposed to be entirely different it's supposed to be this i was going to talk about some heels of the 2000s why they're crazy they're cracked up they're insane but i had to finish it i don't want to go without uploading on time i kind of hate it so i decided to make this this was actually supposed to be tomorrow's video i wanted to make it a bonus video but i decided to push it for today and focus on this which should come out either tomorrow or after tomorrow hopefully. definitely may have to check that, that one out a couple out. of videos in mind you know triple h's first year possibly a SummerSlam pay-per-view the other side of Ruthless Aggression, I didn't make the thumbnail, so you can't see, obviously. There's a bunch of ideas I have in mind, but yeah, that's why I didn't make that video. I wanted to stay consistent, I thought, why don't we push it forward? Why don't we do the Austin Theory video for today, so yeah. Alright, that's it for this video. What did you guys think of Austin Theory's character change? Hey man, this was great. I gotta go ahead and give the homie a like. Y'all go give him, give him a like as well. Link to the original video will be down below. Wrestling, uh, wrestling's premiere, man. Dope, dope, dope content created when it comes to everything about wrestling especially on the wwe side of things um made some very fair points most of the points i can agree with and honestly they need to get the, the title off of him la knight needs to become a new united states champion get the title off of him and figure something out that's that's literally what they need to do they got to figure something out because right now him being the champion it's not that many people that care. It's, it's 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 like yes he I didn't even know he had the fifth longest <laughs> United States title reign, but no one's not even really saying anything about it. And it's it's not coming off as memorable like Gunther's Intercontinental title reign. So I don't know. They got to do something, but they need to get the title off of him and figure something out. So comment down below. Let me know how do you guys feel about Austin theories um run so far um his title reign everything he's done with the united states championship do you care do you not care let me know down below and what do you guys think should should they do with him in the future to make people that don't care interested in him and and get him somewhere where he needs to be in his career because right now i just feel like he's just in this little the stagnant place he's not really progressing but he's not really failing either he's just kind of in the middle and people are not really gravitating to it at least um the fans are it's just like he, it's austin theory so let me know how y'all feel about it down below but i appreciate all the love and support road to 150k and i'm still young speedy youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all keeping with me see y'all next one peace